grand jury has been convened to look at the CPD shooting that left two suspects dead. Just a few days ago, Cleveland police announced a new chase protocol stemming from that shooting. But it seems the investigation a year and a half later is still not finished. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez is live at Heritage Middle School in East Cleveland where Steph, authorities were out there again today. That's right, Tracy. This part of the parking lot here is where that deadly police chase and shooting came to an end in actually November 29, 2012 was the date. But today, BCI was back out here again with the vehicles involved, recreating some of what happened that night. It's not being called a reenactment because there's no gunfire or sirens like there were that November 2012 night. But here again were the vehicles involved. The blue older sedan driven by suspects Timothy Russell and Melissa Williams. Tight-lipped on what was going on today, Joe Frolic, who's the director of communications for the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office, told reporters, "All I can say there are we continue to investigate different aspects of what happened that night, and this is all part running more tests to help us understand what what took place. More tests that include cameras taking 360 pictures, according to a county sheriff department member. But Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association president Jeffrey Fulmer says that should have been done already. I feel that they should have all the evidence after a year and a half." Uh, from the initial investigation, from everybody inv investigated. And doing this right now does not bring back the uh, perception of the officers what they had that night. You know, there's no lights and sirens, there's no gunshots, uh, it's not dark. So I have no idea what we're doing here or just making a media production. For others, including members of the organization Black on Black Crime, it's a sign that justice, in their words, is finally being served. You look at the major things that have happened with Castro. Uh, Acevedo, those trials coming very fast, justice being given, and the families of those victims being allowed time to at least go on with their lives. And then you look at November 29th, these families are in limbo, the cities are still in limbo, uh, the people out there in the communities are still wondering when is it going to happen for us and when will those questions be answered. Now, Tracy, this was only expected to be a one-day thing, and the evidence collected and recorded here is expected to go to the grand jury. Now, this does come two days after police made that new chase policy announcement, but I was told this is not a direct result of that and had been planned months before. We're here in East Cleveland on your side. Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.